a bizarre altcoin named Spercoin, SPER, appears to have duped experts and media outlets alike into thinking that it is part of a grand Russian plan from a Russian megabank looking to evade Western sanctions. The bank denies connection with the coin. The token, which seems to be trading almost exclusively on the decentralized exchange PancakeSwap CAKE, appears to have debuted last month, at around the time when Spurbank, also known as Spur, was granted the right to issue what the Russian government has labeled Digital Financial Assets DFAs. This ambiguous umbrella term has been applied by lawmakers to refer to everything from tokenized commodities and securities to stable coins and even crypto assets. Spurbank, which is also one of Russia's premium tech companies, has seen its share price tank on the London Stock Exchange as a result of Western-led sanctions amidst Russia's aggression on Ukraine. But amongst the financial chaos, it appears some individuals have sought to use the news as a foil to promote an altcoin that, apparently, is merely using the Spur name as a means to make a fast buck. Business Insider which appears to believe the coin is genuinely associated with Spurbank, reported, there has been speculation the Spur coin could become a quietly condoned way to exchange rubles for other currencies, and get around constraints. It also quoted Ashish Pirilla, the general manager at HAR. It's like taking your own bank account, and putting it onto a ledger. It's not all that useful, unless you can start trading it for other things. And so far, the data I saw is that it's not very liquid. Birla also pointed out that while Spurbank can launch a cryptocurrency, it might not help move cash in and out of the country. The problem is, although there is data in an actual Spur coin has been mooted for several years at Spur, this P. The token's website is littered with grammatical and spelling errors, bears no Spur branding, no Russian language section and makes what many would feel are outlandish claims about daily rewards for staking. Crypto News Com editors found that at first glance, the token appears to bear all the hallmarks of a scam coin. Spurbank spokesperson denied the bank's connection to the coin, shortly telling Crypto News. Com that, the information from these web pages contradicts the reality, the token has made its way onto CoinMarketCap, but its white paper makes no mention of Spurbank.